Hello, Maggie. Hello, Maggie. <laughs> it's hot, Michael. Very, very hot. Magali, I just want to sit here. that. I need to touch you because I know it's hot. I'm just going to try and answer some questions and you can be there in the background to make sure that I answer them correctly. All right. So from Lily Lamont, I think uh, must be French. How fast can a line run? Le Meg would say between 60 and 65 kilometers per hour. How does Kevin deal with a lion whose mood turns sour when he's in the enclosure with them? So Knowing the, the individual lions uh, helps me with that and generally before I even enter enclosure with the lions I could see uh, the, the behavior. So the normal behavior of this particular group is they all come run up and say hello and on this particular occasion I see maybe Charlie sitting back in the, in the, the distance looking. Then I would know maybe there's something up with Charlie. Uh, not necessarily grumpy but maybe he's just feeling ill. So naturally you would then approach him with caution um, and it's not like uh, most people would think that the lion's feeling grumpy so he's just going to get up and take you out. It's not like that at all. Um, if you've got a relationship with these animals, even if they're feeling sick, even if they're feeling grumpy, they're not going to do that. So uh, just leave them alone. Don't try and interact with them. Um, don't try uh, your luck with them. Don't especially don't try and jump on their back or roll around with them because you know, they're feeling grumpy, they're feeling down, and they might just lash out like they would at any one of their pride members. So, yeah, that's how I deal with that. Um, and there's a lot, obviously, more going on in my head. Um, I'm reading all the telltale signs and just going on intuition and gut feel. So I hope that answers your question. Okay, so Coralie Power says a 10-year-old Nathan would like to know if lions have a particular type of favorite meat and what kind of meat do they eat so yes in captivity meg's favorite meat is definitely horse uh, we get donated uh, horses um, from around surrounding areas um, and yes these are horses that have died from various ailments uh, some have been put down old age or uh, broken legs horse sickness you name it um, so that is their favorite uh, in the wild uh, in the wild lions have uh, definitely a favorite meat. Um, it's cultural. It gets passed on from generation to generation. Certainly lions um, love zebra. Um, giraffes are a firm favorite too. Uh, you're grimacing, you smell the other lions. So yes, uh, those, those are uh, lions' favorite meat. Jesse asks, what can the average person do to help lions? Well, there's so many things we can do nowadays. Um, Obviously money is an important factor in uh, conser conserving lions and so I would be lying if I sat here and said we don't need money to, to um, do the things we need to do. But not everyone has money so we understand that. Other people can give off their time, other people can spread awareness, other people can uh, and you can spread awareness in so many ways these days through social media. Okay, Cookie D is asking, how can you tell if a lion just isn't in the mood for a hug? And Cookie, I'd answer that question by saying, how do you know that your partner, husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, or whatever, is not in the mood for a hug? Um, either they tell you, or you walk in through that door and you can just see that they're not in a mood for a hug. It's the same with the lions. They give off the same kind of signs that they're not in the mood. So hope that answers that question. What do lions smell like? My nephew asked me this and I told him I wasn't sure. And this is from Elizabeth Whitman. A uh, lion, as I've said many times, kind of smells like your average short-haired dog in a way. It doesn't have a pungent smell that you would find off offensive. It's really just a, yeah, it's a, it's a pleasant smell, like kind of if you sniffed your dog, it's got a bit of a smell of uh, dirt because, uh, you know, they spend half their lives lying around in the dirt. So, but they, they, they have a, a pleasant smell. Yeah, I would say. <laughs> Hard to explain, but yeah, pleasant smell. 
Wade Hutzel, how do the male lions keep their mane so well groomed? Seems like they would become very matted and full of prickly burrs in no time. And you're quite right, Wade. Uh, male lions uh, do rely on their um, their friends, their partners in crime, uh, their their brothers, their coalition males, whatever you want to call it, to groom. And the females groom them, but there's a lot of mutual grooming between males because it reaffirms bonding. And you can always see a lion that is in good condition they're always very well groomed they groom each other they groom themselves you can always see a lion that's not feeling well who's sick it does tend to not groom itself the others tend to not groom it and the, the, the fur does tend to get matted and full of old uh, pieces of, of blood and remnants of meat and uh, we do have lions getting dreadlocks and mats and uh, little prickly burrs do get caught in it if they don't get groomed here at the sanctuary um, I have my little special lion brush and I brush uh, most of the males, their manes and, um, you know, un, un, uh, um, unmat them and untangle them. So, yeah, thanks for that, uh, Wade. So, Sarthak Gosh asks, Sarthak Gosh, I hope I got that right. Um, have the lions and the hyenas ever become so excited um, and playful that I've had to leave the enclosure? And the, the answer to that is it depends on how much punishment I'm willing to take. Um, so some days, <laughs> Meg, no one can take you seriously with a with a branch of a tree over your face. Let me get that out your face. How are people meant to take? How, how is anyone meant to take you seriously when you've got a branch in your face? Anyway, so yes, I mean it depends on it depends on my mood, um, and that's often what the tolerance level is. So if I'm feeling um, bullish and excitable and full of energy and fun, then uh, the lions also pick up on that and we can have a whole bunch of fun together. But um, if I don't and the lions are all excited because it's cold or it's been raining and I really don't want to have lions jumping on me and falling on the ground and getting dirty and all of that kind of thing, then I would then just use uh, my discretion and uh, not go in or, or go out. Yes. So... So Rhino Miles is asking, is it true that the best way to guess the age of a lion or a lioness is the color of its nose? And yes, there is merit in that. Um, lions start with their noses being very pink when they're young. So the whole um, T piece of the nose is pink. And then as they get older, um, the, they get more pigmentation, little dots all over. And ultimately when they get to a very ripe old age like old man Tao, the entire nose is black. You'll notice Meg and Amy's noses are pretty black. So, old girls, hammer girl, a little bit of pink left, but not much. And we know that they're 15 years old. It's not the only aging tool, guys. So don't um, rely on it um, only as the definitive to age that lion that you're trying to age. Where are you going, girl? Okay, she's heading out of here. So it's not the definitive um, yeah, measure there's others um, especially like in male lions uh, you can use uh, mane um, and and all sorts of other things coloration on the, the hind leg um, teeth teeth's always a very very good one um, just faces and uh, structure of the face uh, so there's a whole lot of things that one would look at when when uh, trying to age a lion gna chaos what is a typical 24 hours for Meg and Amy? What is a typical 24 hours? So the typical 24 hours for Meg and Amy is uh, 20 hours of sleep, four hours of play. And that's the typical 24 hours of any line. So uh, at, at a, a captive uh, facility like this, um, we can give them as much stimulation uh, by moving them around and you know exercising them in bigger areas and enriching their lives that way but um truth be known is you know if the <laughs> if these lions don't have the uh need to hunt why would they so um they get their food they don't have the stomach growling and um, motivating them to get up at night and go hunting so they generally will sleep even more even at night but yes they are much more active at night and most of their 
Um, most of their energy is uh, spent pacing up and down and roaring and walking and whatnot at night. So you'll find lions far more active at night than in the day. In the day when it's hot like this, it's uh, time for sleep. Yeah, uh, so somebody's asking, this is Catherine Urib. Um, she's saying it's a sad question and is there a special place that you bury the lions after they cross the rainbow bridge she's put that very nicely you've lost some wonderful beautiful lions it would be nice to have a garden to memorize their lives yes we do we have a special place on the farm that no one knows about only us and we bury all of them in that area it's a very special area to me and um, yeah it's uh, therefore been designated as the special area for the lions